matter what you place in your eyes to try and do or master the power to be told, it'll get you within the game and keep you there to master the training ability that you simply have to upgrade and effective learning techniques if you reread your notes from the test that you simply relied on in effective learning style. Rereading notes is that the first study strategy for over 80% of faculty students, but consistent with empirical evidence, it doesn't do much within the book, which makes it follow the science of successful cognitive learning. Mark McDaniel explains why common learning techniques like rereading learn illusions that don't cause subject mastery and the way you'll be able to incorporate three proven learning techniques into your study and practice sessions to retain more information and acquire a way for learning mastery of topic preferred first self-test I hate pop quizzes and secondary school I hated pop exams because I had to retrieve information from my memory that was terrible but while I hated those quizzes, it just made me smarter in a very 2000 2011 study published within the Journal of Educational Psychology, a category of Lycee students by reviewing their notes thrice before taking a test. The category got a C-plus average on the exam but when an analogous class of Lyceum students completed three surprise tests before taking the identical final examination, the category average had A-minus when taking a test, you're more likely to create the knowledge static because after you do a test. You have got to dig deep into your knowledge to retrieve the knowledge within the book. The authors say the harder it's for you to recollect new science from memory, the more useful it's to try and do so. The trouble to retrieve knowledge strengthens its endurance. We want to attend for somebody handy us a test to bolster our learning. We are able to simply start taking a self-test. I started self-testing while taking note of audiobooks pausing the audio every 20 minutes and silently asking myself what are the most ideas on which of those ideas we are unaccustomed me, then I ask myself how am I able to use these ideas in my life if I'm reception or walking outside I'm visiting confiscate my phone the voice dictation code on my iPhone and record the most effective answer I have to admit I feel stupid once I made because I'm finding it so difficult in remembering the main points. I just heard the research shows that you just forgot nearly 70% of what we read and listen to. Soon after we learn this, our minds are in perpetual forgetfulness. After you do a self-test, you're employing a limited amount of data that you simply can remember to return to the knowledge. You forgot if learning is like exploring the replacement earth and so doing a self-test is like trying to trace your steps to the lake of data by making a shot to seek out a path back to the knowledge you would like to stay. Resetting the forgetting curve and reducing the forgetting rate after this video before we move to the subsequent video. Take an endeavor run to check yourself and answer the questions correctly. What were the most ideas during this video? Which of those ideas were unaccustomed to me and the way am I able to immediately start using those proven ideas in learning technique number 2 interleaving if you're learning Spanish and you're trying to be told a brand new Spanish phrase you need to attempt to repeat the phrase and master it before moving on to the following Spanish phrase well consistent with the newest science in learning the solution isn't any if you would like to be told and keep a brand new Spanish phrase, you need to an identical situation, phrases in your Spanish training sessions. This could involve writing five Spanish phrases on five different flashcards as you practice moving from flashcards to flashcards without repeating one phrase. Your goal is to travel from phrase to sentence in random order in order that you'll be able to remember all five phrases perfectly with interleaving similar phrases force your mind to travel the additional mile to get the similarities and differences between each of these phrases and make them stick. The authors explain that a a jock who practices hitting by swinging with 15 fast balls, 15 curve balls, then 15 changes, will perform better in practice than a player who moves between the three fields in random order. But the player who requests random fields during training is ready to decipher each step and reply to it and become the simplest hitter. So rather than that specialize in one skill and trying to master that skill before moving on to the subsequent. Target three similar skills and take a look at to master all three while switching between if you wish to be told graphic design and master graphic design programs like Adobe Photoshop, then Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects don't attempt to master one program at a time. Instead, you'll use Photoshop simultaneously on Mondays, Fridays, Tuesdays, 
and Thursdays and do After Effects on Wednesdays and Saturdays if you're learning on golf don't hit the identical club twice in golf range rather than that, swap clubs, and if you're learning a way to cook, don't target perfecting one meal instead, aim for mastering five similar meals and never cook the identical meal twice during a row. Does one think it might be simpler to practice a Spanish phrase 50 times on a daily basis or 5 times on a daily basis for the following 5 days? If you decide on to increase the practice over 5 days, you may only put in half the repetitions but you'll over likely remember that phrase once you visit Spain. Repetition is healthier than group repetition. Scientists call this phenomenon a divergence effect that a university professor who wants to extend the retention of his students can use the spacing effect by cancelling half the category rather than giving his students nine tests that are spaced throughout the semester, where one half each test tests new concepts and also this douse of concepts exam from previous exams. Students will need to review subjects L at intervals throughout the semester which improves their retention and reduces the requirement to cram them into the ultimate exam if you're attending a workshop and need to recollect an inventory of key concepts from that workshop, create an inventory of these key concepts inside an occasion on the calendar and schedule this event thrice within the future. Pick three dates you expect to start out for getting each concept once I encounter information I need to stay. I schedule a self-test date the following day of the subsequent week and therefore the next month when the event pops off in my phone. I observe a listing during this event and check out to clarify each concept from memory. I just came back to my notes after trying to clarify each concept now why it's self-interlacing and diverging between effective learning techniques and why are they far better than traditional learning techniques like rereading and group repetition. The solution is easy rereading and group repetition very easy within the book the authors explain the more you repeat in one session, the more familiar the matter is and therefore the more you struggle to recollect it the less you learn easy learning like writing on sand here today tomorrow, but the self-test is difficult because you forgot 70% of what you've listened to read very quickly, interleaving is difficult because the brain must push to decode between similar skills you practice and therefore the spacing is difficult because if you permit enough time to pass it, it'll become rusty and need effort to reconstruct an old concept or skill from memory. The more hard your brain should work to retrieve information, the more likely it's to stay to effort worth keeping this was the fundamental message I gathered from sticking there too. If you liked this video please share it many thanks for watching.